Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm John, and you're watching Road Reality. Boy, it's sunny out today. But we're going to go meet up with my buddy Jason from Ironborn Rider. We're going to say hi. So enjoy the ride. All right, here we go. Jason rides a, uh, I think it's a 2016 Iron 883 with a 1250 kit in it. But I've never actually met up with him in person, so this ought to be fun. Hey, what's Yo, up? John. Hey, what's up, buddy? I just saw you pass me. Uh... Oh, yeah, I went right by it. I didn't even see Dawson's. Yeah, um, if you go across the bridge, on one end of it, there's a visitor center and a tourist yeah. trap thing, yeah. and that parking lot's pretty good. Yeah. So we're here with Ironborn Rider, and we're going to head up to Brighton Dam. We're going to take all the back roads, see what we see. Should be some good times. Like I said, he's got that Iron 1250 kit on his 883 and it sounds awesome with the Vance of Hines short shot exhaust and he's got a LaPera seat and some other stuff maybe we'll take a look at it when we get there pretty cool bike sounds wicked he knows how to handle it so let's see if I can keep up that is a mean bike that's a 16? Huh? Is that a 2016? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. How many miles on it? 8,000. Oh, yeah. oh, okay. So you've added quite a bit. Yeah. yeah. You've added more than I have. How much how many miles you added? Almost 10.5, but it had 29 and change on it when I got it. If it wasn't for COVID, I think I would have ridden a lot more, but. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> I have the opposite. <laughs> With COVID, I've been riding a lot more. going up Georgia yeah. cool there's a back way to get up towards the end the top of Georgia too if you want to take it you want to do that yeah. all right I'll leave that part okay. is uh, chip is going to take us down one route we're going to take a different path that I know of that's all back roads and hopefully there's no ice because, hey, weather check, yeah, 51.8 Fahrenheit. Yeah, what is that, like nine degrees Celsius? Anyway, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go over this way. Now I get to see the other side of it. <laughs> yeah. Nah. There's no bad side to a Harley, unless it's upside down. All right, we're now on 115, St. Patrick's Church over there. I went there as a kid. Not much to say about Emory Lane, but it does have some nice bends to it. There are speed cameras on this road, so you kind of got to be careful. Well, that's okay. We'll do all right. So Jason and I, we're going to do a dual vlog today, but it turns out he doesn't have a communicator, so there's no way for us to record each other's voices. We just have to stick with ourselves, which is fine. Um, so yeah, you're going to get my side of it. It, uh, it looks like he's recording too, so you'll see his side on his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below to his channel. Nice, nice. Hey, gotta love the drivers around here. Anyway, we're passing over the Inter-County Connector, ICC, Maryland 200. It was a project in the works for 30 years. It finally got approval about 10 years ago, 15 maybe, and it finished construction in I want to say 2015 um, but I'll double check myself but yeah it's a toll road um, Governor Hogan here in Maryland he lowered the tolls when he took office which gained him lots of popularity but it's great because there's not a ton of people on it because not everybody wants to pay a toll 
But if you're shooting from where I am, north of DC, to PG County, anywhere, it really cuts out a lot of traffic because you don't need the Capitol Beltway, which is really cool. So I happen to like it. Speed limit on that road is 60. It was 50, but they found too many people were speeding, so they, they upped the speed limit. Go figure. Funny one about that road is that even the cops don't give professional courtesy on that road. I've seen the Maryland Transit Authority police pull over different counties and sheriffs and such. So it's kind of funny to see a cop pulled over. We're going to turn here. We're going to go down this little back road. So we're now on Cashel Road. We are definitely in the suburbs, folks. Again, more speed cameras because there's lots of Karens out there. fun corner. Now we're on Bowie Mill Road. Unfortunately, I was playing music at the last intersection, so you don't get to see that. Copyrights. All right, you take the lead. All right, we are at 108. We're going to go east, and then we're going to hit Georgia Avenue. Aha, he's got a back road. Even better. More suburbs. All right. Very cool. Okay, so we're on Queen Elizabeth now. Scratch all that other stuff I said. Speed bump. Ooh. And unlike most of my recent videos, there's no big message, no big uh, words of encouragement I want to give you today. But I do want to thank you for watching and being here with us. Hopefully you're having as much fun as we are. Ooh, green light. Yeah, no signal. Good job. Just pure, unadulterated Harley bliss. We're on Georgia Avenue, northbound. We're taking Gold Mine Road. Oh, Gold Mine. It's a fun one. All right, more neighborhoods, more back roads, more fun, more speed bumps. Well, when did they put those in? Uh, there we go. This road used to be a lot of fun to ride on. It was very smooth. Uh, I'm guessing that the state highway administration has not spent much money on it recently, which is a shame. This is the worst part of the road. I don't know if you can see that, but it is pretty rough. I'm going to take this corner nice and easy. No matter if your group is 1 or 100, the best thing you can do is ride your own ride, whatever that is. And you know what? If the other people around you can't deal with it, they will ride their own ride and leave you behind. And that's too bad. But we're going to make a left on New Hampshire. him here. There we go. I think we're almost there. You know, I'm back here posing along, chit-chatting about roads and stuff. He's probably up there with some sort of, whoa, Nelly, wee. He's probably up there with some uh, really intelligent topic he's talking about. I have no idea. I don't even know what I'm doing. But hey, Brighton Dam Road. Cool. We will soon be at our destination. 
I'll give you one thing, you can make that bike hustle. Well, as we're approaching Brighton Dam, I'll try to throw some facts on screen about the dam itself, the reservoir holds back, that sort of thing. I didn't really have a whole lot of time to research. I mean, we didn't figure out what our destination was gonna be until we got here, well, until we met up, so. And here we are. Brighton Nam, Ironborn Rider behind us. Where is he? There he is. What's up? Go check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. But this is the dam. I said I was going to throw up some information. Hopefully I found some. He got fishing over there and he was saying that up that hill somewhere, where is it? Over there, you can go around the corner and there's a, a good spot to take pictures and hang out and do more fishing. So. I might have to check that out in a future ride. If you want to ride with me, let me know. So we checked out Brighton Dam. Jason's gonna be on his way. And uh, yeah, thanks for riding with us. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and keep the shiny side up. Stay safe, stay healthy. Peace. Thanks a lot, this was a lot of fun, buddy. Yeah, man. I'll see you again soon. Nice. Sounds like a plan.